a Gundam review, finally, yes, I know, and, uh, <laughs> sorry about skipping out the last two days, I've just been too tired to make a review, I, I thought about it, and it's like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that, so, um, this is the Gian Archer, let me get her in proper standing pose, here without her we weapons, I should probably lower the camera, but too late to do that. Start the review already. You may see a few stickers that want to peel off on this. Because I've had this kit for quite a while. I think since it first came out. Like, I ordered it around the time that Versus Z and um, Prime and uh, Too Old did their reviews of it. So, it's a couple months old. Yeah, it's just a couple of months, but I consider it old. <laughs> As some of you may may know from the uh, Gundam Clips Eclipse chat room, and let's move that back. There we go. Forum that this is my favorite mobile suit of all time. Don't know why, it just is. <laughs> uh, colors you got this reddish pink. I don't call it reddish pink. White. Yeah, some black for the panel lines. You got this metallic pink for the chest sticker here. You got metallic, let's see, put this out. Metallic green for the um, sticker, which I screwed up on. Uh, yellow for this little fin thing. And black for panel lining. Black on the inside, which I did. Let me see if I can pull this off. When you get this kit, all the black you see on this is going to be red. You're going to have to do it all by yourself. I did it with a combination of panel lining marker and Sharpie. So, whoever says Sharpies are, are bad for kits, I don't know. Um, the head has this really, has, has uh, the clear green, but behind it, let's see if I can do this without hurting it. Okay, that works too. Behind it, you have a Gundam face. Probably hard to tell. Oh, that's pretty hard to tell. Let's see if I can zoom in and then get some better detail here. Focus. Focus. It's not focusing. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be a gun. Oh, there we go. You can see the eye, the face mask. Because the Gene Archer was originally supposed to be a third generation Gundam. But they just scrapped the idea and made it into a support unit for the Arios, which I don't have. Um, if you plan on getting this kit, I'd recommend getting it with Arios. I mean, it's a good kit by itself, but you know, not really much to do with it. Um, I guess let's go over its articulation. I can get the wing back. There we go. Articulation on the head. Oh, oh yeah, that's great. The head goes side to side. Uh, is it kind of does a chicken head? I mean, kind of, not really. Uh, wiggles because it's on a ball joint. So arms or shoulders are on ball joints as well. So let's zoom out here. Ball joints as well. So that they um they don't really wiggle. They they more. Oh yes, they do. Uh, they will kind of. They do rotate 360. The wings just get in the way here. Uh, bends one point. The elbow has swivel. Wrists, and off goes that hand panel. Um, the, this hand panel on my kit does not like to stay. Uh, and you'll see that later when I try and po pose it with the weapons. The waist will go 360, but with the wings on, it only goes so far. The wings themselves are on a ball joint so they can rotate and then they can go in and out because on another joint and there goes the freaking hand panel. This can flip up, that's because of the transformation. Uh, the leg can go this far forward, oh wow, ow, wait that's just the thing. That far forward, yeah so she can kick you in the face. Um, double, oh uh, it doesn't go backwards very far because it runs into the wing but actually uh, yeah, that's about, that's about as far as you're going to get it backwards. 
um, double joint knee and then the ankle is on a ball joint and does that thing but it's mainly for the transformation um, I guess I'll transform it now seeing as though that's it I should have probably done that first but I'm not going to show you on camera because I suck at doing this transformation even though it's a really simple one I just don't can't do it <laughs> yeah I'm Commander Metal I can't do simple transformations no, because whenever I do it, it just doesn't look right. I finish it, and it looks crappy, so. The leg is, the way the legs fold is very reminiscent of the strike. Or something along those lines. That little pop you heard was the uh, Gundam, Gundam Eclipse chat room. If you heard the pop, if you didn't, then okay, never mind. Pop this into here. Put, hey, put the arm panel back on? Okay. Guess what I did. Um, yeah, this probably does not look anything like it's supposed to, but, you know, what can you do? What would you do for a Klondike bar? I know, I'd, I'd kill a man. <laughs> what would you do for a Klondike bar? I'd kill a man. You would? And do it. Oh, freaking A, the leg. The feet. I don't know, I feel that the transformation is kind of half-assed. You know, seeing as though, oh hey, it's the uh, support unit of the Ario, so we should have it transformed too. Eh, whatever. I guess the, trans the transformation uh, for the kit. I don't know how half-assed it was in the show, because I haven't seen that far in the show. Put the wings back on. It does come with connector pieces for the Arios. I don't have them there. Once again, in the bag, uh, you do need a, speci a sp special stand piece to put it on the stand when it's in in the um, flight mode, the mobile armor type mode thing. I don't know if you want to call it mobile armor mode or flight mode, because this isn't exactly a Gundam, so you could consider this a mobile armor. But ah, there it is, the Jean Archer and uh ship mode. I just, it feels so, it just looks so out of place. I don't know. I, don't, I think I did something wrong or something. You can mount it to the Arios. Don't have the Arios, so I can't mount it. I will make a video once I get the Arios of, um, it being mounted. Yes, let's make all the dirty jokes you want. <laughs> um, yeah, this is pretty much flight mode, and I just knocked the camera. Uh, that's not really too much of a disguise. If you're trying, if you're going for disguise, I'm just gonna pop the wings off altogether. You can't. Oh, and then you can put the wings. There's another connector piece. You can put the wings on the uh, double O or on the Arios or on the Caradim. So in terms of playability, this kit has a lot of it. Oh wow, eight minutes. Review review time goes by way too fast. I'm talking about this thing for eight minutes now. Yikes. And this by far is one of my favorite poses. I kinda stole it from versus Z, but you know or Z versus what, is it versus Z or Z versus? I think it's versus Z. I haven't watched one of his reviews in a while though. So I'll just call him Z. I kinda stole this pose from Z, but you know. What can you do, eh? This is supposed to be the school girl motif. Oh, um, before we run out of time. Size comparison with a uh Soda can, she's just a hair bit smaller than a soda can. With the wings on, she'd be taller, but whatever. Um, so this has been Commander Metal. Oh, before I forget, I'll put a link in the uh, s sidebar over here. Um, go to that place if you like Gundam. Uh, Gundam, the Gundam Eclipse form. I mean, yes, I know, shameless, shameless advertising, but we need, we need it. We need the people. So. Um, yeah, this has been Commander Metal. Uh, have a nice day.